morning, everyone. I am recording this vlog on my brand new GoPro. I got this like the other day. So I wanna see if the quality is any good. They've talked up a big game. So let me know in the comments down below how the vlog quality is compared to my usual setup, which is the Sony A7 Mark III, which is a sick setup. So um, yeah, let me know how the quality is guys and make sure you smash that like button because you guys have been smashing the likes lately and helping the videos get pushed out to the algorithm, which is absolutely insane. Let's see if we can hit 400 likes on this vlog here. That would be incredible. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. That would be a great free way to support me and drop a comment down below on how you enjoyed if the GoPro just really isn't it. This GoPro here is what I'm planning to use a lot while traveling in America because it is kind of a small profile. So um, it, it could be quite handy to bring around to festivals, you know, going to Disneyland, just going on a bit of adventure. It's like shockproof, waterproof to 33 feet, which is like 10 meters. So absolutely excited for it. Could be a bit of a game changer to be honest. And apparently it's pretty high quality, but I guess you guys will be the judge of that. Anyway, we've just woken up feeling a little bit dusty. Um, we uploaded a YouTube video last night and it's it's just out of nowhere performed super well, which is which is crazy. Look at this. What are we looking at? 5.2k views overnight, plus a few subscribers. There was an amazing comment in there from a guy. Let's pull it up. Man, this brought a tear to my eye. I'll read it out to you guys. He goes, I clicked on this video thinking you'd have a, like a million subs and views due to the insane video quality and the fact you got straight to the point and was surprised to know you were still a small channel. Keep doing what you were doing and you'll blow up soon. Man, this absolutely brought a tear to my eye. I'm going to go through all the comments and respond to them soon. I do set a bit of time to go on my PC and just whip through all the comments. But um, this video has 283 likes. Um, which is a high amount of likes compared to the amount of views, which I think is helping push it out. But anyway, let's get into the day because we have quite a big day today. Um, what are we doing? We've got a podcast um, with these guys called Pivotal Conversation. Really excited to hop on that. Uh, should be a pretty sweet studio. Um, and I'll take you guys along for the ride. We also do have to hit the usual upper session, you know, just a bit of bench press, a bit of usual repetitive sessions, but they're the ones that actually make the progress. Had an absolutely shocking sleep last night. Let's. You guys will laugh at this. So if you don't know, I track my sleep every night. Look at that. 50, mate, mate, that is that is a joke. It took me like an hour, over an hour to actually get to bed. Um, don't want to reveal too much, but sleepovers essentially result in, for me at least, really low sleep quality. And I'm just like, I can't stand it. So that's kind of what the deal is. Like I sacrifice sleep quality when that happens, but you know, you gotta kind of live life as well. So um, I, I don't know, it's a bit of a trade off. Let me know if you guys have any tips for that. If you just like smash a sleeping tablet or whatever it is, but that is the trade off. Okay, we are driving to the podcast. Just had to turn off the music for monetization reasons, but we are listening to a bit of uh, Lemonade. Gunner, Don Tolliver and Nav, absolute banger, goes hard. TikTok song, but it's just one of those ones I'll always play because it goes hard. Uh, we are running late because at this point it is my personality trait and it just got me thinking while I was getting ready. There's no in between with my fans. They either say I'm the biggest drip lord ever, fit check, or they go, Gab, you just walk into the wardrobe and pick three random items. Um, you look like shit. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just like to wear what I want to wear, essentially. Um, by the way, because I got absolutely like terrible sleep you see these bags under my eyes man I, my face is a little puffy so you know what we do this is a shout out to all you american psycho fans we use the ice pack there so i'll let it defrost for a little bit and just run it over the eyes because it's a little bit puffy got bags under them it doesn't look good don't want to be you know on camera doing a podcast for these guys and looking like no good so we'll, we'll get that done don't usually do that a little bit extra perhaps even a little bit metrosexual you know i like to take care of my appearance um, anything else? Oh yeah, just gonna sip on a bit of caffeine here. Got the, can you even see that? We got the Oxy Shred, um, that all ready to drink can. They're so yummy, you get them from Elite Subs. You just go to NTF, link in description. Not a plug because it's not really necessary. I just like to sip on it because I get it for free. And you can get like 12 packs there, like 60 bucks or whatever. You can treat yourself. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we are at the podcast. <laughs>
Here we are. How are we going? What's going on? We got Kyle, we got John, helps with their editing. Is that right? Yep, yep. It's a sick setup here, way better than our ghetto garage setup for our podcast. Look at these couches. This comes straight from Italy, you reckon? Mate, you know, funny story. Yeah. A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. That's That's still expensive. I got my couch off Facebook Marketplace for a hundred (laughs) dollars. Yeah, yeah. Probably a smarter move. Yeah, yeah. This is my my partner. My my partner, she uh, forced me into the thousand dollar couches, but... Each? A thousand each? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, great couches. Yeah. You see, I I just got these like recovery boots from this brand, so I want like a new L-shaped couch to sit, go and watch Peaky Blinders like this. Um... So yeah, our couch at the moment, it's not very good, but um, it does the job, like you can sit on it, um, but it's just like not very nice, so we'll get, we'll get a new one soon. Um, we'll give you guys a bit of a tour, so like we just did the podcast, it's not actually the first time for me going up. It's good to build a bit of rapport first, you know, I don't want to just have the camera just straight away, but like that was an awesome conversation. I really enjoyed it, did you? Yeah, mate, it was so good. I think... Um you know, being able to see how you guys have grown and, and you know, just yeah. have a good chat about business is always yeah. fun. So apparently, so apparently you had the Country Road founder on last week? No, so she's coming, we've had her on before. She before. came on last year in last all, year. Uh, June, no, yeah. July. Uh, but she's coming on Thursday. Yeah, that is, uh, that's what we're striving for, that kind of level, so that'd be unreal. Uh, to be in the company of people like that. But if you guys want to listen to it, uh, where's the best place for them to, to go? And uh, you can jump over to Pivotal Conversations YouTube uh, or Startup Diaries on Spotify. Okay, awesome. Uh, editor, make sure you uh, put the link in. I love you very much. That'd be great. But conversation was awesome. I just like chatting heaps. I'm uh, chewing your ear off about all things TikTok, uh, everything like that. And just like what's worked for me to be able to translate like a TikTok following into almost like a monetized audience. Not that I'm trying to just like make money off you guys, but like we do have to put a roof over our head, over our head at the end of the day and actually providing value. Um, and I think like there's a lot of influencers that are say way bigger than us, but they're not making any money. Um, and it's probably just because of like, like that business mindset from, I don't know, the university degrees or whatever or something, but like we were just having a chat basically about that, about different ways to make money. And uh, it was quite interesting, probably the most technical I've gone into about like the structure behind nine to five and the differences between my personal content and everything like that. Yeah, I think, I think the thing is like, what you guys are doing now mm-hmm. is actually what some people aspire to do as a career, mm-hmm. right? So, but the hard thing is, is you know, you wanna, you wanna go, out, go out and create content, mm-hmm. but you know, so turning that into money, so you, like you said, yeah. you can pay the bills is, is the toughest part yeah. so i think um the conversation was was great from that perspective and and you know you, you you're providing a, a path behind for others to do so so i think you're on the same perspective as me like i was at this crossroads do i go and get like a grad job in economics get like maybe 70k if you're lucky um or do we go out and do our own thing and i think you were saying the same thing as like you couldn't work for somebody else you want to do like your own projects yeah i just i just wasn't that good you know like even at school like someone telling me what to learn yeah all of a sudden i wouldn't want to learn it so Mm. i think the thing was for me was like i love to learn when it's learning about what i want to learn Mm. um and and i'm really curious and i love to study Mm. like i genuinely do but it was more okay i need to find something that i you know i'm really interested in and and more importantly, I you know I, I can I can make decisions for myself, and I'm not being told what to yeah. do. Which, um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just it didn't suit me. Yeah. So. I think a lot of us will definitely relate to that. We hate being told what to do, and we want to study it if we're actually passionate about it, and we'll get so much more out of it. Uh, do you know when the episode's dropping? It's actually going to be dropping tomorrow night at six pm. There so. you go. So by the time this YouTube video is out, it'll be up because this will be out on Thursday. Um, so we give them a quick little tour. I don't know um, if there's anything more we need to show them, but this is a pretty clean kitchen. It looks better than my one at home. We had the cleaner yesterday. Yeah, so. I like the, um, the, it's nice and sleek, the, the matte black. Um, we've got a coffee machine, um, little photo shoot area here, and just like full on setup for all the cameras, really, really clean. Um, and then we've got this outdoor area, which is Last pretty sweet. Oh, Can't forget completely the missed it. The playoffs are on at the moment, <laughs> so there you go. And then we got the outdoor area here. Maybe the new NTF headquarters will have to look something like this, but um, 
yeah, the podcast was great and uh, I'll probably catch you guys in the gym. Bro, I was hungry, uh, so I got food, which isn't on meal prep, so let me show you what I got. Uh, this is like the absolute shredding hat, so... Right, 20 bucks for that absolute rip. But if you don't know, prawns are like the leanest thing ever, so that's what we're, just pure protein, no fat, no carbs, no nothing. Uh, also, fourth coffee of the day, because I just love the taste that much, not even for the caffeine. Uh, got one earphone in, just walking down the street, listening to a bit of a bit of the baby, rock star. Right, don't steal my food. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna destroy this, uh, then drive back home, and probably do some work, then off to the gym. Uh, I got home and absolutely starving here, so we're on to our second meal of the day, which is kind of like a protein muscle wrap. It's just got egg whites, some eggs, a bit of shredded chicken breast, spinach, low-fat cheese, anything else in there, a bit of olive oil, heaps of salad, salt, pepper, sriracha, jalapenos, and this wrap is like a Simon's Pantry protein wrap. Uh, that's like 500 calories, 40 grams of protein. It's um, pretty decent, pretty tasty. Egg whites are just like so anabolic and we're about to tuck into a little bit of work. So let's get it. Um, that's our house over there, just a solid mansion. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. Fuck, there's some girl in. looking at us. You can break in. That's all right. So, See, once upon a time I would have been yeah. freaking out. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a, a car. If, there, if I yeah. saw a car behind me back in the day, I would have just been so scared. <laughs> Bro, there's a person, stop filming. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bro, the Ezcam standing sets, they're just NPCs. But you sit, yeah, no, I'll cut it there, I won't say anything that gets me in trouble, so. Why well, can't I see the screen? Uh, sometimes it turns off to say battery, but oh, you right. it you How see. does it look? Yeah, you look good. Yeah, You yeah. can see as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, mate, how good is this camera? Mate, it's so exciting. Unreal. So what are we filming for you, just some footy stuff? Or? Yeah, someone said I should kick with my left. Um, so I'm going to show them how just bad... Just nature strip? Yeah, so I'm going to show Bam. them how bad I am at kicking a football on my it left foot. Your friend's house down there, mate. Yeah. The, we don't speak of her anymore. Her. Um, but yeah, it should be good. Got this bike, shout out to Canyon. Dude, I can't believe I sold my old one for more than I got this for. It's ridiculous, mate. You, stonks. He's the master. I'm the stonks. The master um, of it. Ultimate scammer. No, yeah. Rest in peace. Mm, um, right, yeah, then. should we get into it, lad? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Two things is my favourite artist at the moment. Definitely Lil Uzi. Just absolutely loving him. Can't get enough of it. Second one is we need to create our intra workout beverage. This is absolutely key for me. Just, um, get everything in that I need to. Good way to get the powders in. I don't really like having the powders, but there are a few essential ones we need, which are, of course, five grams of creatine per day. Uh, just some, we're gonna go for a non-steam pre-workout just for that pump. Make sure we get a juicy fuel session. Uh, last one, where is it? It's just amino acids. Double scoop of this, just cause we're on a cart. Make sure we're not being catabolic at any time of the day. Just always fueled with something, so. Um, yeah, that's going to be two scoops of this, one scoop of creatine, two scoops of non stim pre-workout, and that should sort us. Alrighty, we just got two more meals left to have for the day. One of which is pasta, the second one is a protein pancake with just some frozen berries kind of crushed up into a low calorie jam. So let me show you. Where are we? So in the fridge here. One. I promise you it tastes a whole lot better than it looks. Then we just got the pasta. Again, tastes a whole lot better than it looks. And we'll also just put some low calorie cheese on that one too. 25 grams of that, bunch of salt, bunch of pepper. Goes down an absolute treat. Load that one up with vegetables. Good way to get micronutrients in. I reckon usually I would have the pasta first and then pancake for dessert, but I'm going to hit gym now, so I kind of feel like having the pancakes to be a bit lighter, easier on the stomach to just digest. I don't really have digestion issues, but like, it just makes more sense. Like, get it done, smash it down, maybe even in the car, and then go gym. Then after gym, hitting a sauna with the HIG, and just good productive day, a bit of invisible training, we call the sauna. So, take your in for that. I really don't know 
this GoPro handles low light, but we'll give it a go anyway. It is night time. I pretty much fit a 90 minute session into 70 minutes because, get this right, I'm gonna go hit the sauna with Higo, right? For those of you who don't know, Jack Higgins, uh, great, great footballer in the AFL, small forward, absolute jet. Um, and we, we hit the sauna like three times a week, right? Just We like to call it invisible training because it's like something extra you're doing just to get like an edge in terms of recovery and it's invisible. Like it's not strenuous training, right? Anyway, long story short, I was like, yeah, we'll have a sauna 7.30. And then I was like to him, 8 p.m. because I need an extra half an hour because I was running a bit late. But like, I'm still at gym and he's like, I'm, I'm here. And I'm like, mate, you fucking kidding? I thought he was lying because he loves to always like play a joke like that. And um, so I've had to rush my session. I couldn't do any like posing and not record as much as I wanted to. But, you know, whatever. He can fucking wait around. He, he did that. So... Um, I'm currently rushing home, speeding home like it's GTA, currently got five stars. Anyway, I'm really hungry, just really rushed, but you know, we are absolutely grinding and we love it, so far out. It's getting pretty dark, isn't it? But after sauna, I'm going to microwave that pasta meal and absolutely keen just to smash that one down. That'll be the last meal for the day and then I'll take you through all of the vitamins and supplements I take before I go to bed because uh, that's kind of when I just absolutely chow down all the tablets I need to and I kind of take quite a bit at the moment so I'll run you guys through that and I'll give you a little good night kiss so uh, but yeah hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far alrighty guys this is gonna get pretty damn foggy here can you see the front screen there yeah I can see it bro um so welcome to the sauna I hope it's not gonna break in the heat here <laughs> but yeah this is we call it invisible training don't we invisible training off legs you know it is because this is just something easy you can do um, to kind of get the edge over your opponents in terms of recovery. You know, we can just chill, listen to music, uh, have a good combo, just really de-stress, feel a million bucks after. And it's just like a little thing we can do just to aid performance. Um, and like, to be honest, I feel a whole lot better after it. Same with like those recovery boots, just another kind of thing you can do. Other than that, like it's pretty warm. What do we have it up to? 90 damn degrees. Um, and we try to stick to 10 minutes. Um, he has recently invested into a sauna hat here. Yeah. Um, it Dotted essentially up. helps keep the processor cool. And if the, the processor, processor is, <laughs> if the processor at the control center is cool, you'll be able to last longer. So uh, he's actually got me one as well, but he hasn't forgot to yet. bring it two times in a row. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have it soon. Well, next time. Yeah, Higgs in the hot seat here. Um, essentially he's close to the heater. I usually take that seat because he's got the hat, we compromise. So. Anyway, we're going to get into this sauna. Uh, if you're saunering, make sure you just drink a lot of water, electrolytes as well. We both had some Powerade slash Gatorade. Hydrolytes. Hydrolytes, really important. And probably, like, we're drinking two to three litres every sauna session. Um, try to stick to something like that as well, otherwise you'll really dehydrate yourself, but yeah. Alrighty, the battery has lasted us the entire day and it is only, it's on 13%, so we'll have to figure that out for America, but we're about to go to bed. Do we have our water, Cardi? We do. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I have for bed to to actually like these little vitamins, little supplements. So, turkesterone. I know it's a little bit controversial, um, but I'm having six tablets and I really just cannot be stuffed having two with each meal. So I literally just have all six at the end of the night. Like just mouth it like that. Then I will have one men's multivitamin. Um, other thing I will have is two of the zinc magnesium. I think it's got, what else does it have? Taurine. Uh, there's the microwave, just microwaving the pasta for the last meal of the day. So magnesium, zinc, taurine. I don't know, the zinc and magnesium is the main reason I, I take it for like to help with testosterone, just like muscle soreness and recovery and things like that. Pretty damn essential. Sometimes I'll take fish oil, but at the moment I can't really be stuffed because I just like too many tablets. Uh, then I got like these little golly things here. These are like expensive and unnecessary, but I just get them for free. So I have them anyway. I don't have to actually help, but like ashwagandha, I will have this for like two weeks because apparently if you have it for like longer than that, it's not good. Apple cider vinegar helps with digestion and just like extra micronutrients. Why not? I mean, um, so there's, there's quite a few things in there. I'm literally just going to smash it all down pretty soon. Um, is there anything else we take, Cardi? Cardi, you're on the fish oil, aren't you, mate? You absolutely love it, big fella. Um, but literally all we're gonna be doing now is smashing down this pasta. I'm actually hungry as, 
and watching an episode of Peaky Blinders and going to bed, have another big day tomorrow, just full of meetings, content, grinding. But we've got to get it done, guys. Uh, Peaky Blinders, favorite, one of my favorite TV shows. Probably best series I've watched. I don't know. I'd say it's better than Game of Thrones, to be honest. I'd say top three for me. Game of Thrones, three. Stranger Things, two. Peaky Blinders, one. That's that's me. Let's let me know what your guys' favorite one is. I'm going to be finishing off the video here, guys. Um, if you do want to support the video, if you do did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. I would like appreciate that so much. Uh, we've been smashing the likes. If we can hit four, 500 likes on this video, it'll just help push out the video to a, an even wider audience. Last video just went absolutely crazy. If you can comment, leave one or two comments down below. One, how you enjoyed the video and any constructive criticism on how we can get better. That'd be fantastic. I really just want to create the best content possible and to just uh you know let me know if you're up to anything interesting this week uh make sure you subscribe to the channel my power bidding program if you want to support me financially any supplements uh use code ntf link in the description for elite supplements and uh, any other brands i'm associated with socials everything down below go follow my new instagram account as well single bullet gabe i'm posting there at least once a day so uh get around it guys and i love you very much thanks for watching mm.